Hello everybody, on today's episode, we will be discussing double standards, or more specifically, why the double standard between men and women exist when it comes to sexual activity. Well, the first thing that you have to understand, you are when trying to sort out this double standard thing, is that society views the roles between men and women differently. Um, well how so? Well, think about it. The roles men and women have in society are completely different. If you look at men, society often thinks of men as supposedly providers and protectors. They're supposed to make women feel secure. They're supposed to protect their children from any danger and provide for their families. On the other hand, women are often looked as you know, support for the man. They're often looked as someone that stays in the household and takes care of everything to help raise the kid while the man goes out and provides. Women are supposed to learn how to cook and clean, and even, you know, some women are taught to how to please a man. All women do in the household is, well, you know, support a man. But one thing you have to realize, viewer, is that that is not always the case. Sometimes it's the woman who's being the provider and the protector because, you know, either men and women have become divorced or other miscellaneous reasons that will be discussed in a later video. But for all purposes and intents, in this video, we will be talking about the split in society and why the double standard exists in the first place. So now that we've discussed the split between men and women and their roles in society, I'm now going to delve into the topic of what today's video is about. It's about freaking time. Now that I've discussed the more simple terms as to why men and women are different in society, I'm going to delve into our topic for today. So. Lots of people have seen, lots of people have talked to, even I've talked about this to some of my friends. Why is it that when a man goes out and sleeps with a lot of women, you know, he's more like a hero or a role model or he's cool. But when women go out and sleep with lots of men, you know, they're called sluts and whores and everything. Why is it so negative for women to go out and have sex, but it's really good for men to go out and have sex? You'll see in just a second. Let's think about how hard it is to get a woman to have sex. You know, think about it. Just for a second. In fact, I'm going to give you three seconds to think about it. So now that you're done thinking about it, listen to me speak. You see, it's actually really difficult, or at least it should be, remember that, to get a woman to have sex with you. I mean, sometimes you have to be in a relationship with them, you gotta take them out to eat, you gotta buy them all these cool things, you gotta make them feel special in order to finally get in their pants. It's a really difficult process if you think about all the time that it takes to get a woman, a lovely woman, to finally lay down and sleep with you, you know, if they have standards. It's incredibly difficult. So because that aspect of sleeping with a woman is very difficult, It really makes having sex finally with them feel more like a reward for all of our hard work. It makes it seem like we've finally done something great because we finally got inside of their pants. It's awesome, and we celebrate. It's like, man, after all this money I spent on her, I finally got the vagina. So now what happens? We've already conquered that, so we move on. We repeat the process over and over and over again. It's like a video game. Think about it. After you beat a video game for the first time, why it's not so satisfying the second or third time. But when you go to the Walmart and you buy a new video game and you play to that thing again, it's super cool. It's fun. It's a new experience. That's why men jump from women to women. We see us all, you know, getting vagina as a great reward because it's supposed to be difficult to do so. Now, you see, viewer, that's really the key element in it all. Well, how so? Well, check it out. Because it's supposed to be difficult to sleep with a woman, easy women are often looked at to be bad and, you know, rejected by society because they're not following the rules it has set up. Vagina is supposed to be very, very, very special. Being a virgin in virginity is oftentimes usually supposed to be looked at as something great, something wonderful. Look at the Virgin Mary. She got so much respect because she was a virgin mother. Getting rid of that virginity for women is a lot different. It's not like a rite of passage for men. 
it's more like a destruction of your values and everything that you're supposed to respect about your body. Because women are oftentimes looked at as sexual objects, when they give up, you know, the sex, they're looked at as objects. That's why lots of women are disrespected and why the double standard exists. It's supposed to be difficult to have sex with a woman. It's supposed to be. Not saying that it should be or it is or is not. That's how society views it. You're not supposed to be able to just go in and sleep with a woman. That is why it's illegal for, you know, sexual prostitution. But because us men try so hard to get a woman to look at us in a positive light, we try so hard to sleep with them by paying money, spending time with them, calling them when we can have better stuff to do, well, it looks more like a reward to us because we spend a lot of time trying to do it. Now, not saying that I really look at women like this way. I try to respect women as much as I can. But when you don't respect yourselves, how do you expect other people to respect you? Think about that. As one closing, concluding statement, women, the pride that men have from having sex is the fact that it was so difficult to finally get in your pants. It's as simple as that. If it was easy, there'd be no pride. There'd be no reason to celebrate. Because everyone can do it. But if you see that one super hot blonde haired girl that's untouchable, and you finally get a nice piece of them high, you look like you're on top of the world. And again, that's where the pride comes from. The pride comes from the difficulty it takes to finally have sex. One thing that you have to understand is that there are probably a lot more complex reasons as to why the double standard exists. I just delve into one of the more simplistic topics. One that's more... Excuse me. I'm sorry. One that's more easily explainable, right? Once again, there are lots of complex reasons as to probably why the double standard between men and women exists. But, to come to a conclusion, it is because society views the roles men and women have is different. Men are hunters. We're supposed to go after the vagina. Women are defenders. They're supposed to protect their children and their young and whatever. Look at the animal kingdom. You know, all female animals usually do is defend their children and defend themselves. When the hunter can defend or defeat the defender, well, that looks great. You got some pride going on there. When the defender loses against the hunter, well, they don't look so great anymore. So because men are hunting vagina and women are supposed to be defending the vagina, well, women look bad because they did not do a good job defending the vagina. In a nutshell, that is one of the basic reasons why the double standards between men and women exist. Until next time, you guys. Adios. This is Rice, what are you doing? And I'm playing the Game Boy. This is, no, you're not. There are no batteries in that thing.